Hey guys, it's Toby Morrison here from CFS Health and we've got a question here today from Love Body Mind Soul. She says from Instagram, do I need a supportive spouse to get better from chronic fatigue syndrome? This is such an interesting conversation. Now about, I think it was like eight years ago, nine years ago on the phone one day, this lady wanted to join our program. And I said, okay, so what do you need help with? I need help with my baseline, I need help with my nutrition, mindset and sleep and everything, right? And I was like, great, that's good. We need to know exactly what you need help with so we can you know, figure out a plan and then help you actually implement it and create changes. And then at the end, just before she was about to join, she goes, in order for me to get better, my husband needs to understand me more. He needs to support me more. And I was like, whoa, 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 stop there. She was like, what do you mean? And I'm like, well, of course, it would be absolutely lovely if your husband was really supportive and understanding of you. And shout out to all the husbands who are in the world. You guys are amazing. For the person who's actually on their own journey through going through chronic fatigue syndrome or any other chronic illness and they're on their recovery journey, it is very, very limiting to say, I can't get better unless my husband understands me, or I can't get better unless my husband supports me. You're basically taking all the control out of your situation and giving it to somebody else. That is just such a limiting way to go about it. And I'm not saying it's easy, you know, it would be absolutely heartbreaking for that to happen. And in fact, there needs to be sometimes some hard conversations. One of our members just in our program the other day on our coaching call, I said, you need to start saying this is how it is, you know, and you need to express your boundaries and just put it out there. Because if you don't, the person on the receiving end isn't gonna understand. It might be a relational problem that actually needs to be addressed. And uh, at the end of the day, you don't wanna squash down your truth just to try and make someone happy. I mean, that's not healthy for you or the other person. So there's a lot here to uncover, but the main thing I want to talk about is if you're literally saying, I can't get better unless my husband understands, me or that's my wife or my partner or whoever whoever it is you're putting control outside of yourself and it is so limiting anyway i called it out on this lady and i said is it true is it 100 percent true that you need your husband to understand you and support you in order for you to get better and she's like yeah 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 and i was like are you sure it's 100 percent true that you need that in order to get better she's like oh well i guess not it doesn't really like it's not going to change like i still need to do the changes Exactly. And so my suggestion for you or anyone out there who's really struggling with this, like do try and get your partner on the same page as you. Like we, we have a whole section in our program, literally like eight video modules to help our people connect better with their partners, express where they're at in an empowering way, express boundaries in an empowering way and have a more connecting relationship. We even actually invite our members' spouses into the program so they can have a better understanding. And as soon as those people do watch those videos, it's almost like something changes in them and they go, wow, like what you're going through is like, you know, it's a, it's a big deal. And so I'm here to, here to help you and support you. I hope that you do what you can in order to reconcile that relationship or uh, end it if you need to, to create a healthier environment for yourself. But the second thing I wanted to say is you don't need anyone. You don't need anyone at all to understand you or support you to get better. It, it is nice, but you don't need it to get better. What you need is yourself. And what you need is a plan. And what you need is a trajectory that you're focusing on, that you're moving towards, that you know is actually going to help you and that you're gonna to get to. And you need help and support along the way, but it might not come from your partner. And usually it doesn't. It's usually outside of ourselves, okay? Usually outside of our immediate circle. Uh, keep going strong. Uh, what I'm gonna do is leave a link in the description with a couple of free trainings for you on getting started with your recovery. Uh, this is a four-step process. It's a really cool framework to get started to cut out all the overwhelm, to probably save you thousands of dollars in uh, trying a million different things that isn't gonna work. Um, and you can just start doing these practical things every single day. And we will see you in the next video. There is a bunch of videos. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below if this was helpful for you. And uh, again, like I said, it doesn't, it's not gonna be easy, but it's possible. All the best, and speak to you soon.